For the previous two games, it was Rolf Rudolph who was really turning up for Meridian. But last week, it was actually Chad Powers who ended up being Offensive Player of the Week with 450 yards and three touchdowns. Both of these men have done a great job so far this season with Powers having 17 touchdowns and three interceptions, and on the ground, Rolf Rudolph is approaching 2,000 yards midway through the season. Next up for the Nighthawks is a tough test against the Orlando Rockets. Orlando currently sits at 5-3 on the season and are looking to make a playoff push of their own, led by quarterback John Howard, who is an A-plus throw accuracy, but doesn't really have the greatest arm. On the ground, they're led by Jason Banning, who is an A-speed and A-awareness, so he's definitely one of the fastest running backs we've had to deal with so far this season. As far as receivers go, they're led by Jarvis Baker, who's 21 years old and probably has the best hands in the league out of any receiver. Josh Carlton is their top defensive back. He's an A overall, B plus coverage, A plus speed. So we're gonna have a tough time throwing on him. And once again, the experts are split here. Two of them picking Meridian and the other two picking Orlando. Well, let's see how it goes. As we get into this game, Meridian kicks off and it's not a very good kick from Henderson. And it's gonna be picked up by Jason Banning who gets across the 30 to the 32. So here's Orlando, first and 10. Banning breaks a tackle and he's gonna pick up the first down and more, getting to midfield for the Rockets. So now first and 10. Howard lets it fly over the middle and it's caught by Daryl Howard who burns Klein on the play. And that'll be a touchdown for the Rockets as they strike first within the first minute of the game. And it is gonna be seven nothing Rockets. So how will the Nighthawks respond? Well. Vega is going to get the pitch here as Rudolph sits out the first play. Now it's going to be second down after no gain by Vega. Thrown left side and it's going to be caught by John Wright. And Wright with plenty of space. He's going to get deep into Orlando territory just shy of the 20. So now first and 10 from the 21 and Rolf Rudolph gets shut down. He's going to lose about three on the play. That leads to a second and 13. Chad Powers drops back once again. Looks to his right and he's going to scramble. And he gets a block down the field, and he's tackled just a yard short of the end zone. And now the handoff to Rudolph up the middle will give Meridian their first touchdown of the game. And we are tied up at seven. This looks to be a high-scoring affair, as there have been two touchdowns so far in the first three minutes of the game as Banning picks up the first down for the Rockets. Now Howard drops back, lets it fly, and it's going to be caught by McGuire. He's going to cough the football up, but Baker picks it up. And Orlando has the ball just outside of the five. Second and goal, free play for the Rockets. And Howard throws left side to Jason Banning for the touchdown. Penalty was an offsides on Larry Lacey. And Orlando is up 14-7 to now. And now here's Rudolph getting to the outside, doing his thing. He's going to get across midfield for a big first down for the Nighthawks. Now the play fake for Powers. He throws left side. It's going to be caught by Braden Park, who's going to pick up the first down. And now third and nine from the 39. And here's the throw left side to Park again. This time he's going to be tackled short of the first down marker. And Meridian decides that they're going to go for it. Powers looks down the field, decides that he's going to scramble last second. Gets a few blocks and gets the first down and more. And gets the Nighthawks into the red zone. Now third and four. Counter play to Rudolph. He tries to get to the corner and he does so successfully. He's going to get the first. Very next play, Powers over the middle. He's going to find Moran in the end zone for the touchdown. And we are once again knotted up, this time at 14. So two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Howard throws over the middle, finds Fuller. And I think forward progress is going to give him the first down. So now third and seven. Here's the throw left side, and it's going to be incomplete. So for the first time in this game, we have a punt. Meridian looks to take the lead here as Powers rolls to his right, looks down the field. And he's going to throw last second, and it's caught by Quickie Mart, who's going to get up to the 31-yard line. That's going to bring it into the first quarter. We're knotted up at 14. Into the second here, Rudolph gets to the outside, and he picks up about seven. That'll lead to a third and three. Rudolph gets the off again. This time, he doesn't get the block that he needs, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. Andrews on the tackle there, and the Nighthawks punt it away. So now here's Banning. He gets the pitch and he gets about six on the play. That leads to a second and four. And then an offsides penalty is going to give Orlando the first here as Howard makes the grab there. And now here's the handoff to Banning up the middle. Linton tries to bring him down, but Banning gets a nice gain and the first. So now second and eight handoff to Banning again. This time Graves able to bring him down. 
And it's going to be third and three for the Rockets. Howard drops back, lets it fly, and Lacey gets burned by Baker. And Baker gets into the end zone for the touchdown as Orlando takes the lead once again. Meridian looks to respond here. Powers lets it fly down the field, and it's going to be caught by Saul Franklin. You better call Saul if you need a big play down the field, and it'll be a new set of downs for the Nighthawks. Now Rudolph gets to the outside on the pitch. He's going to get inside the five up to about the two-yard line. And now it's going to be first and goal. Hand off to Rudolph, and he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Nighthawks. And we are tied once again at 21. So now Howard is having a hell of a game so far. He's going to dump it off to Kokot. And Kokot going to break a tackle, and he gets the first down and more all the way inside the 25. But it's going to be a holding call on George Tran. That will take them all the way back. So now first and 20 now. Howard throws it down the field. And another big play, this time by McGuire who gets into Meridian territory. So now here's Banning on the counter. He gets a nice gain of eight. That'll lead to a second and two. And now here's a pitch to Banning. He gets a block, and he's going to take it all the way down to the end zone for the touchdown on a hell of a toss play. He got a great block on the outside, and that sprung him. So now it's 28 to 21, and Rudolph looks to do the same thing here. He gets a first down on the toss. Now the handoff to the right side, Rudolph. Tries to get to the first down marker, and he is just short, so now second and inches. And here's the throw right side, caught by Braden Park. Orlando brought the blitz, but Powers got rid of it quickly. And now here's the throw left side to right. He's able to pick up about seven. Now third and two from the 32. Powers under pressure, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. Just didn't get rid of it in time. Gonzalez gets the sack there, and now it is Rockets football again. Howard lets it fly down the field, caught by Baker. Lacey tries to tackle him. Baker breaks free, and he's going to get his second touchdown of the game. So Meridian's defense has struggled all season with stopping the pass, and those struggles are flaring up once again in this game as Powers looks down the field, throws across his body to Rudolph, and he'll pick up the first down. Meridian uses a timeout under a minute to go now. Second and 10 pitch out to Rudolph. He's going to get the first down and more, and he steps at it about the 36-yard line. Huge play. Well, actually, the 34. But regardless, it's a first down for Meridian. Now Powers throws last second, caught by Quickie Mart. And now 20 seconds to go in the first half. Powers throws right side, caught by Quickie. He gets out of bounds just barely. So now 14 seconds to go. Hand off to Rudolph. He gets to the outside, and he's going to get into the end zone for the Meridian touchdown. So now we go into the half. Meridian trails 35 to 28. This has been a very high scoring game on both sides. John Howard is having a hell of a game. 265 yards and four touchdowns. Rudolph has 125 yards and three touchdowns on 17 carries. As both of these teams are lighting up the scoreboard. But whoever gets a defensive stop at this point is going to win this game. As Rudolph runs up the right sideline and he's going to be tackled just short of midfield. It'll be another Meridian first down. Powers now going to drop back, throws it deep left side, and it's caught by Saul Franklin, and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. So it's 35-34, to 34, but then Benjamin Henderson absolutely smokes the extra point. That could loom large later on in this game as Howard throws left side, caught by Banning. He breaks a tackle, and he'll get past the 45 up to the 46. That'll be a new set of downs for the Rockets. Now they hand off to Banning. And he's going to get across midfield this time. That's going to lead to a second and four. So now pistol formation, handoff to Schneider. But they're going to get the first down once again because Alvin Linton gets called for offsides. And at this point, I'm just going to turn offsides off because I get called for it any time that I try to make any type of shift as Bannon gets the first down there. He has over 170 yards of total offense in this game so far as he picks up a first down there, but he's really been killing it for the Rockets. Now pitch left side and Banning just barely gets the first down. Lacey couldn't stop him there. And now Howard off the snap throws left side and he's going to find Fuller in the end zone for the touchdown as Alvin Linton is now injured for the Nighthawks and it's 42 to 34. Powers looks to bring the Nighthawks back and he just overthrows his man there. And it's a three and out for Meridian. So now Orlando has a chance to make this a two-score game and break the game open as Banning picks up another first down. So just collectively, the Meridian defense has just not done enough to stop Orlando in this one. And then Banning is going to get a first down after a face mask by Harris Harrison. 
And at the end of the three, it's 42-34 Orlando, and they're looking to pull off a big win here. As here's the throw left side to Kokot. He jumps over a defender, and he picks up the first down. I mean, there's not much you can say about that play right there. That's just a great effort by Kokot. And then Banning picks up a few yards, but he's going to be well short of the first down marker. But that's okay. Orlando goes up by two scores as they kick a 35-yard field goal by Tanner. And it is an 11-point lead. For Orlando as Rolf Rudolph runs it here and he's going to get into Orlando territory as he's still fighting here. He gets a pitch left side now and Rudolph gets tackled past the 25 up to about the 23. Now third down, Powers looks left side and it's caught by Wright but he steps out of bounds and I'm ready and will settle for a field goal here and, and Henderson able to make it from 32 yards out. So now third and five for Orlando, and Howard tries to run up the middle, but he stopped short of the first down marker. And now Meridian has a chance to tie this game up as Rudolph gets the handoff. He'll be tackled just short of the first down marker. Now 420 to go, and Rudolph tries to push forward and get the first, and he does so successfully. So now Powers looks down the field, throws off side, and he's going to be intercepted. And honestly, I'm going to take responsibility for that. That was just a bad decision. I had two guys open in the flat, but I wanted it all there, and I caused the interception there. So now Orlando's looking to run the clock down here. Third and seven, Banning is tackled well short of the first down marker by Guillermo Tisdale. Meridian uses their first time out. And now here's a field goal, and it is good from 50 yards out. And Orlando once again has a two-score lead. So now Meridian still has time to get down the field and get a couple of scores here as Saul Franklin makes the grab. And now two minutes to go. Second and 16. Powers looking down the field. Throws left side. Caught by Franklin. He gets a block and he's going to get the first down. And now 153 to go. Flag on the play. Powers looks down the field and it's going to be caught by Park for the touchdown. But there's a flag on the play against Nathaniel Stevenson. So now it's first and 20. Powers. Under pressure, he's going to be brought down for the sack, and it's another holding call, but for some reason, Orlando accepts it. Still not an ideal time to get two holding calls in a row as Powers looks down the field, lets it fly, and it's dropped. That's going to bring up a fourth and 30. Powers under pressure, and he's going to be brought down for the sack as Orlando just pinned their ears back and brought him down. And now Orlando going to kick one more field goal to increase the lead, but Tanner misses this one. So now 25 seconds to go. Meridian still has a shot here. Thrown over the middle. There's Franklin. He makes the grab, and Saul Franklin's going to get into the end zone on a huge catch and run for a touchdown. And Meridian now has to recover an onside kick. But first they're going to go for two here. Powers drops back, throws right side, finds Quickie, and he's going to be tackled just short of the goal line. But Meridian still has to kick an onside kick here. Henderson kicks it, and Orlando is going to recover it. And they're going to walk away with a 48-43 victory and a very high-scoring affair. And once again, I feel like that interception really just costs us the game in this one. And as much as I love immersion and whatnot, I got to take responsibility for just making a bad read on that play. I mean, I had two receivers open in the flat and I decided to go deep and I paid the price for it. It is what it is. As we look at the American standings right now, Orlando leads their division currently. Meridian's still on top of their division as well and still have the number one seed as of right now. But of course that could change, especially with Orlando having the victory over us. And then in the national conference, the Chicago Lake Hawks actually lead the national conference. But next up, Meridian has to get back on the horse as they take on Kansas City in what could potentially be a game for first place in the division. And Craig Olson is coming off a huge game, so will we be able to stop him after our rough performance this past week? We'll just have to see, and you'll just have to come back and check it out to see for yourself. Thank you.